loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be another chatty get ready with me. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so today we're gonna talk about single women versus married women. I didn't even know this was a thing. I was actually watching a video and one minute or two minutes into the video, I got a little distracted because I started reading the comments and there was one person that kind of uh, requested to talk about uh, married women versus uh, single women. And the comments were very interesting. That's what I'm going to talk about. I didn't even know that there was such a thing, uh, married women against single women. And you know, there's this uh, type of notion that one is worse than the other or one is better than the other. Um, you know, we'll get into all of that in this video. I will link the video that I was actually watching that had the comments in it. So, you know, if you want, you can go and just kind of check them out. So with all of that being said, let's get into this little chat and doing this makeup. All right, so here we go, y'all. We about to get this party started. But before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and put some eye cream on and a moisturizer. Elema sent this eye mask over and you can use it overnight or you can use a little bit of it under your makeup and that's what I'm gonna do now. So it's got like a gel consistency and I'm just going to add a little bit of it under my eyes. I also sent over this um, anti-aging day cream, which I actually love. This is the consistency, and I'm just gonna apply this all over. And it feels really good on the skin. I actually like it. I like to use it uh, in the daytime. It does look thick, but it's actually very thin and light. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder on them before I actually draw the eyebrows on. And I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of it. And I'm just gonna use the Sephora Rep retractable brow pencil so yeah let's just get into it I guess but before you know I really just kind of um, talk about the topic I just wanted to tell you all quickly a little bit about myself for the people that are new here and the reason that I want to do that is because it might better um, help you understand why I say some of the things that I say in this video but I am 50 years old and I've been married going on 25 years um, I have been married before okay so my first marriage I was married for about well, we stayed living together for about six or seven months and then after that uh we didn't we got divorced probably another four months later but when we stopped living together i moved back home so that you know i guess it counts but then it really doesn't count but i think it's important for me to tell you all that all right so to carve out my brows i'm going to use this sephora matte foundation i've talked about it before in so many videos so i also wanted to tell you all that you know, as far as my thoughts on marriage, you know, I think that it's very, very hard. Marriage is not easy. And I've always stated that in older videos, I have like chatty get ready with me's where, you know, old videos, I think they are probably going on three years old now where I've talked about this. And if you followed me for a while, you've already seen these and you already know everything that I'm uh, talking about. But the institution of marriage is not for the faint of heart. If I was to get on here and say, oh, it's so easy and life is so great and oh, it doesn't come with its problems, even with having kids, you know, having kids, being married, um, it's not easy. Now, with that being said, I do love my life with my husband and my children. If I had it to do over again, I would do it exactly the same over again. The only thing that I would request is that I would be equipped with the same knowledge that I know now. And I would request that my husband be equipped with the same knowledge that he knows now. So I was watching 
uh, Jolisa's video I hope I'm pronouncing her uh, name correctly and I'll link the video down below and I have to be honest I only watched a couple of minutes of the video and then you know my mind wandered into the comments and there was one lady that commented can we talk about how married women sometimes shame single women and also how sometimes married women will present their lives to single women as if it's the perfect life which further alienates that's an entire conversation in itself for the eyeshadow I'm gonna use this uh, Cara Beauty eyeshadow palette I don't even know if they still sell this but here are the shadows and I'm gonna start off with this shade and then use that shade deeper in the crease so of course when I saw that I was like huh I didn't even know that was a thing uh, you know married women making single women feel some type of way especially presenting uh, their situation as better and just kind of alienating single women even in older videos like i said if you go back and you look at my rhetoric you know how i talk i've never presented myself as such even with the women that would comment on my videos they never even presented you know, it was never that type of talk, so I never knew that that was a thing, especially to present your life or your situation as better than the other. So now I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and just kind of buff this out. I'm just gonna use this deeper shade to go deeper into the crease. And of course, I go in and I continue to read the comments. And there was another comment that said, married women um, only marry their college sweetheart. Check, that's me. <laughs> she also says, married women, I think it was um, married women don't get a chance to, or haven't had the opportunity to date in modern, modern society. Check, that's me, because I've been married for a long time. And I think she also said, said that women aren't married women just sit there and cater to their husband and you know check that would be so I do take care of my husband you know I don't work you know so yeah I try to take care of my husband my family because you know that's the choice that I decided to have um, in life um, she all, there were people in the comments that said married women are just stupid because uh, or it couldn't be me uh, because you know their husband cheats on them and their husband does this and the husband does that and you know it's you know they just present it to be something that it's not and they're miserable so of course I disagree with that you do have some situations where you know husbands do cheat on spouses you also have situations where women cheat and you know uh, people marriages have to overcome that so it's not all it's not always the man cheating sometimes the woman cheats there was another comment that says some of the quote unquote ASSES come crying to me because your husband got you sitting in the health clinic scared for your life but I'm the problem I'm the single friend not to mention the disgusting stigma people have for single women we're either hoeing clubbing sleeping with with someone's man miserable or got abortions some of us are seriously chilling doing what the mm, want to do and the fact that I have to constantly be bombarded with you're single because BS every single day by married people who are absolutely miserable in their marriages makes me want to scream. So yeah, she went in on married folks, like seriously. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this uh, Juvia's Place Nubian Glow Palette. Here are the shades right here. So again, I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know women felt like this. I didn't know. I, I, I just didn't know. Well, first of all, I don't, I've never gone to any woman and been like, you're single because, or, you know, I've never done that. And I've never heard of anyone else doing it that I know. So it's, it's really, it, it's just new to me. And you know, to address her point, her, what she said about they cheating, uh, they husband's cheating. I'm like, well, anybody can cheat on anybody, you know? Uh, you can be married and get cheated on. You can be single and whoever you're seeing, you can be cheated on. Even even if you're in a relationship with your with a friend, 
you know, just a regular friend, like a girlfriend who's your homegirl, she could cheat on you. And when I say cheat, I mean like she could do something to where you don't trust her anymore. She could, um, like if you confide, confide in her, she could tell some of your secrets, something that you didn't want uh, to be told. To me, that's a form of cheating. You know, cheating is, is betrayal. You know, at the end of the day, somebody has betrayed you. Specifically, if they have promised to be loyal or to be your friend or supportive or anything like that. And to just group all women in one like category and say all, um, I, I don't think that is fair to do. But as far as being single, I think that, you know, women who are single, there was a study that I read that, well, it wasn't a study. It was an article, you know, it was an article that I read and I'm going to talk about articles that I read as well as, you know, studies. Um, the article said that uh, single women who don't have children are happier than their married counterparts that have kids and a husband. They're happier. And for me, you know, I could see that. You know, like I said, being married, having children, it's not easy. It is not easy. For me, I find it very fulfilling. That is what, what I wanted for my life. You know, I wanted kids. I wanted to be married to my husband. I love my husband. I'm crazy about my husband. Even after all these years, I love him to death. But at the same time, is marriage easy? Is it simple? Is it like, oh, all, you know, strawberry shortcakes and sugar? <laughs> no, it's not marriage. You know, matter of fact, my husband and I, we were joking about that just the other day. You know, we were literally joking. And we was talking about, we were just saying, it's hard, ain't it, babe? He was like, yeah, but it's like, I would do it all over again because that's what I want. You know, everybody doesn't, um, everybody's not meant to be single and everybody's not meant to be married. I believe that there are positives in both situations. As far as being single, you know, when you're single, you don't have to answer to anybody. You can do what you want to do, buy what you want to buy, charge what you want to charge, sleep where you want to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I know you're probably like sleep where you want to sleep. And it's funny because, you know, um, when it's time to go to bed, my husband comes in to go to bed. He's like, oh, okay, what side am I sleeping on? Because I like to switch sides in the bed. Sometimes I want to sleep, you know, on different sides. So it's like even little things like that. And I know you're probably like, girl, what are you talking about? Even like that, sometimes thing, you know, marriage, you know, it's just, you can't just think about yourself. It's just the other person. You have to consider what the other person wants. And when you're single, you know, you don't have to do that at all. You can get up and go. You don't have to answer it. You don't have to do any of that. So I could definitely see that. Like the lady that made the comment that I just read to you. To me, it feels like she feels a certain kind of way about, you know, married women. And, it, and it's probably because who she's come in contact with. That's what I'm thinking. But I don't feel that way. None of my married girlfriends feel that way about single women. There was another comment that said, I'm single and what you said is absolutely true. And if I'm being honest though, I know married women who are, couldn't be me to other married women. You pay half the bills. Girl, that's a roommate, couldn't be me. You forgave your husband's cheating, couldn't be me. Your husband didn't or doesn't do X, Y, Z, couldn't be me. Women are women at the end of the day. Both married Marrieds and singles are trying to preserve that ego of sense of self-worth and are equally guilty of judging, bashing the other side. Married women sometimes weaponize their marital status against single women as a way to belittle single women. So yeah, that's just another comment that pretty much demonstrate that there is like a competition out there. And I just wanted you all to know for, you know, the married and single women out there, it's, it's not a competition. It's not that serious. Both sides, I feel that there's positive 
positives to both sides. You know, plus it depends on how a person wants to live their life. Okay, and over all of that, like right here, all of that, I'm gonna add this shade right here because it looks to be a topper and I'm gonna apply it with my finger. So there was another comment that I found really interesting and I'd love to know what you all think about it. She commented that women who are judging and just kind of talking about uh, the other is because because they are insecure or they're not secure in their situation she says that uh, marriage is a beautiful thing but it's simply not for everyone she also says that she receives the same negative energy from single women you know talking about oh it couldn't be me or I couldn't do it uh, I couldn't take care of him etc etc all right for the outer V mix these two shades together. That I think what it boils down to overall is that, you know, whatever your situation is, if you're single or you're married, I mean, it's all good. If you're single, more than likely, women, okay, first of all, when I just really sit and think about it, a lot of like women that I know that are single, they're single by choice. So it's not like, you know, they want to be married. Okay, so and they're secure in and they are secure in their decision when we get together It's never like oh, how can you deal with being married to your husband? It's never any of that energy and of course I don't do the same thing to her when she talks about you know trips She's going on and places she's going. I'm happy <laughs> You know, I'm happy for her. I'm like can I get in the bag with you? I think with whatever decision you make be it to be married or not to be married. I think that either one is good. Okay. If it makes you happy, like my daddy used to say, if it floats your boat, <laughs> if it floats your boat, hey, go ahead and do you. <laughs> For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades. You know, I really do feel that, you know, women being at odds over that or, you know, uh, treating each other over that I think that um, it, it saddens me you know because there's so many other serious topics or so many things to not like a person or be uncomfortable with a person if you will you know it's, it, it's more pressing issues and then that's not even to me you know the topic of that or to down somebody because of that it's just I don't know I would love to know what you all think about the topic because like I said, um, just in case you missed it, I think that there are benefits to both, you know. If you're married, I think it's benefits to that. If you're single, I think it's benefits to that. You know, there are, um, there was one study and I'll put it down below that talked about um, married people are happier than single women. However, on the flip side, um, I did see where, now this wasn't a study, I did see an article. I do think that for me, when I'm doing any type of research, you know, I tend to uh, take more stock in the the um, journals, you know, the dedicated studies that people have, you know, studied people and followed them for years versus articles. But there was one that was just totally bashing single women, you know, just saying that, excuse me, they were bashing married women, talking about um, uh, single women are happier, married women have it so terrible, they're just kind of biased. So, you know, Please chime in below and let me know what your take is on it. This uh, eyeliner is by The Cream Shop right here. I talked about it in my previous email. I like that it's super matte, but I think it's, it's just so drying. I wish it wasn't as dry. All right, and now let's get into foundation and we're going to kind of bring this one back to life. I haven't used this one in ages, but this is the Pure Selfie Foundation. And let's see what she's talking about. This one is a very thick one. It's super thick. It doesn't even move. It's a little deep for me, but that's okay. We're gonna keep it moving. So yeah, I just thought that the the topic was very interesting, mainly because I didn't even know it was a thing. 
you know I didn't know that there was like this type of competition if you will or just th this competition to bash the other or to say that one situation is better than the other because I definitely don't agree with that again I know you all have heard me say it already you know I think that there is benefits to each one I think that there's drawbacks to each one I wouldn't dare you know tell someone that's single why aren't you married you need to be married and stop hoeing around and I wouldn't dare do that because if someone is single nine times out of ten it's because they want to be or it could be because of other things that happen for example God forbid if something happened to my husband I wouldn't get remarried no 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 ma'am <laughs> I wouldn't do it I just wouldn't I would be afraid to I wouldn't even know I feel like I wouldn't even know where to begin uh you know to get back in out there in dating plus I just feel as though my husband is my soulmate and that's just that I wouldn't even want to try to be with anybody else this foundation's got some serious serious coverage okay so for concealer I'm gonna use this Moira concealer this is the mega concealer it's supposed to be full coverage I saw this the other day in the drugstore and picked it up I used it in a video already and man I love this stuff and I think that this color is a good match for me as well so I'm just gonna add this Just so we can highlight a little bit and to me it just blends out so well I think it was like was it seven dollars or it may have been ten the price is escaping me at the moment okay this is blending out so well so well and I'm going to just kind of put a little here uh, because I think this foundation is coming off a little bit deeper than I would like so I'm just gonna just kind of cut this a little bit All right, got that all blended in. Now I'm going to use my powder. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus powder. All right, so now I'm going to add another powder. This is the Sephora powder. I'm gonna add a little bit of this. And for bronzer, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess bronzer. And this one does have a little bit of a more reddish type of undertone. So if that's not your cup of tea, definitely stay away from this one. All right. And for a highlighter and a blush, I'm going to use this Lime Crime Sun Kiss Face Palette. This is it. These are the shades. So for blush, for highlight, I'm going to use these two shades right here. I'm going to mix them together and see what that will give me. <laughs> okay, so I know I'm going to have to blend that out, but before I do, I'm going to add this shade as well. And it looks like a corally type of pinky shade. And it doesn't appear to be layering all that well. Hmm. So yeah, I'm not sure if that highlight is doing anything for me. I think I'm gonna go in with this Milani palette. I'm gonna add these two shades. It seems like nothing's layering on top of it. Well, there it is. Okay, and for my lower lash line, I'm just gonna use this shade right here. Um, I feel as though it's not too, too dark. I don't want anything just too, too dark on my 
lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara. And now I'm gonna add some lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the lashes on and you might still see the glue, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the lips and I'm just gonna use a Too Faced Lippy. All right, so I think that this lip might be a little bit too deep for my liking. So I'm gonna add this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss to it. And because it's so light, I'm just gonna have to put a little bit on the back of my hand and apply it with my finger. All right, so that helped a little bit. It didn't lighten it as much as I would have liked, but yeah, it'll work. So for a setting spray, I'm just gonna use this LA Girl Shimmer Spray. This is it right here. I hold my lashes on while I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> all right, so this is the final look. So I hope you all enjoyed this little chat and this little quick glam up and a beat. Let me know down in the comments if you're single and how do you feel towards married women and vice, and vice versa. If you're married, how do you feel um, about women that are single? Is it some sort of competition that's out there? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches. Whew.